Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Chino, and I'm back with another video tonight for y'all. Um, what I'm doing right here, I think it's a number six closed or a five open, somewhere in between. But um, I did that with my magic clips because I feel like with my magic clips, it takes out all the bulk out real quick, you know, like it's cordless. You know, just go over it, you know, real quick. And then at the end of the cut, never forget to do it all over again and brush the hair back the way it grows. So you could take out all the hairs and it could be real clean. But uh, it's, it's gonna be like a mid uh, drop, fades, so somewhere in between, you know? But uh, yeah, I hope y'all like this video. Oh, when do you, when you do the shaver, what I do is uh, usually I bald it out first, and then I turn the clip around so the end this is facing down, and then uh, I lightly tap it or I, I just hover over it down, hit it down or or upwards like I'm doing right now, and just lightly hover over it so it, it uh, erases the line because believe it or not, this does leave a line even if it's like uh, between the the uh what's it called the t outliners or the slim lines and the shaver so you know but well, you know what they say whatever you made the line with you could take it out with so right now what i'm doing is uh, i'm doing my seniors all the way open and for his hair i really don't feel like the masters work like they, they do work you know what i mean but like i don't know it's just it's just my style and the way i fade i just like the seniors for this type of hair a little bit better but uh, I had to take the neck dust, the neck uh, thing out because it always be falling out. So I was just like, man, whatever. So I just took it out real quick. But yeah, I'm just doing that all the way around the head. And then uh, erase the guideline midway, uh, all the way closed, you know. Same steps as always, I'm gonna bring my number one guard all the way open, come back um, closed, soften up the line, go halfway with my 116th guard all the way around the head, close it, you know, touch it up. Sometimes maybe you might just need to do it all with the, the blade open, you know, slight corner work to erase that guideline, make it all real smooth. Uh, but then after, after that, I think I'll bring my Either my number three guard or my number two guard all the way up, uh, almost almost to the top of the fade because after the two, the number three really b blends into the five or the number four, you know, just and uh, yeah.
Yeah, so as I was saying, I think this is a number two closed. And then I, I'm going to bring in my white guard. Like, man, I really miss that, that one premium wall guard. This one be falling out so much. It, it just drags. I got to be wiping it out with alcohol, cool care, whatever. But, yeah, I, I need to get myself the other uh, premium guard. But uh, right now I'm doing it all the way open, you know, go almost all the way to the number two, two line. Uh, close it up, soften it up, come back with my number one, you know, just when you bring in the number one guard, it's all trigger play. You could do it all the way open, mid away, sometimes all the way closed. It just all depends. And then sometimes you can even bring in the your 116th. You know, touch it up real quick. You know, just just make sure everything blends in real good. Make sure not leave no guidelines. And uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna bring the curve in. The little C cup, he likes to keep that a little dark. But yeah, I'm gonna do the the beard too and his eyebrows. But I, I'm if y'all would like to see a video on how to do eyebrows, or uh, just just a video on just a lineup or. You know anything that y'all are struggling with or anything that y'all want to see just let me know down in the description below in the comments comment down let me know what y'all want to see and like I'll, I'll drop it you know what i'm saying like if i got time i'll do it you know you know same same thing as i said in the other video um, I'm, I'm really only trying to do one side because if I do both sides, it takes up a lot of time. And it's basically the exact same steps. Like, it's like math, you know, when they say, uh, the, if you do one thing to this or you do one thing to that, you gotta do the exact same thing to the other side, you know? It's gotta be sym symmetrical. Just make sure everything is straight, everything is even. Both sides look the same. Always uh, look at your lineups. Uh, uh, the, your mirror will help you a lot look at look at the mirror and look at the lineup or loose hair stuff like that because that, that's the kind of stuff that's gonna tell you like what you're missing because because something that my boy told me was the client the mirror you see what the client sees in the mirror so yeah feel like I'm not making any sense. I, I feel you. I'm sorry. It's late at night. I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of falling asleep making this video. But, you know, I, I, I've been slacking. So, you know, I got to do what I got to do. But uh, right here, I think I'm going in with my number three closed or open, you know, trigger play. Or it might be a number four. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, uh, you're going to bring in the number three, the number two, you know, blend it out. And uh, if you need it, Bring in the thinning shears with his type of hair. Just, you know, lightly, you know, take out all those little hairs that aren't really blending in with the machine. But, yeah, it could go up to a 1.5. The number two guard, open, close, just play with it. And then once again, when you're done with the cut, when you're mostly done with the, with the fade, come back with the number you did on top. Make sure everything looks clean. Make sure no, there's no loose hairs. Because once they hop in the shower, and uh, once they get out of the shower, they're gonna notice all these little hairs like sticking out and stuff like that. So just make sure you go through it with your, with, with whatever number you did on top.
So uh, my boy right here, he has one of those lineups like where it grows out like all, like his lineup, you gotta like really force his lineup in there. Otherwise it's, it's, it's just not gonna be there because it's gonna be like rounded out at the top or, or whatever. But yeah, he, he likes it uh, to be like real sharp. So, you know, I take out, I push it back, not really push it back, but you know, I gotta put them corners in. So I gotta take all those hairs out. Once you hit it with a straight razor, you know, it, you won't be able to notice it. But when they, they do, do look kind of ugly when they start coming in. But, you know, he kind of likes to line up. So, you know, we just do that. Well, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, share, all, all that good stuff. And uh, remember, give me to 100 subscribers and I'm going to drop that Walmart Clipper Challenge. Let me know what y'all want to see down in the description below. But uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you.